So this question is a simplified question. We know that because it is one to three lines long, and we know that because it provides this equation here, a to the b over four is equal to 16. So the question goes on to tell us that uh, a and b are positive integers, so we know that a is greater than zero, b is greater than zero, they're not fractions, they're positive integers. Um, and the question just wants us to figure out what is one possible value of b. So first of all, very it's not common that you'll, at, that you'll be asked for one possible value. So that just means there's more than one possible value. And I'll show you at least two, two options here for this question. So what, anytime I see this type of setup, and what I mean by setup is I have a number, in this case a variable, but I have some base to a power, and then I have another base here. In this case, it's not raised to a power, but I could say that's 16 to the first power. What I like to do is I like for the format to be the same on both sides of the equal sign. So I want to replace this 16 with some number to a power instead. Okay, so I'm going to say, um, in fact, in fact, I just figured out th a third way to answer this question. So let's actually back up from what I was saying and say, you know, if I have what we are starting off with this a to the b over four equals 16 to the one. I could say that a is equal to 16, right? So I'm matching my basis here. And then I could say that if a is 16, that means that b divided by four must equal one, right? Because matching my exponents there. And if b over four was equal to one, that would mean that b must equal four. So that would be one possible value for b, okay? So again, it's all about format matching. Anytime I see an equal sign here, I just match the parts of each side, and that's why I want them to be in the same format. So another way I could do that is say, well, a to the b over 4. What's another way to write 16? Well, I could write 16 as 4 squared, right? 4 squared is equal to 16. And I can do this all over again. I can say, well, okay, now when I match my basis, I have a is equal to 4. And now when I match my exponents, I have b over 4 is equal to 2. And if b over 4 is equal to 2, that would mean that b is equal to 8. So there is a second option for a value of b that makes the statement in the equation true. And then lastly, I could say, well, a to b over 4 is equal to 2 to the 4th power, right? 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. So in this case, just like before, we say a and 2 are the same. So I say a is equal to 2. And then I can say that b over 4 is equal to 4, and therefore b is equal to 16. So there is a third possibility for uh, the value of b.